Hello there. I was thinking the other day about those great blues masters that we discovered in our youth and uh, we wanted to copy and how we collected their songs and their little tunes and their riffs and we took them in our belt and say okay we learned this one we know this one let's move on to more advanced things and I did this for a number of years saying okay I could play Mississippi blues I could play Candyman I could play uh, and so on and so on it's not until a little bit later in our in our playing career that we look back and we realize that uh, there are some things that we've missed and there are some things uh, that we forget about the music that makes it very very special and I decided to take a look at some of uh, Gary Davis's famous songs like Candyman, Cincinnati Flow Drag and uh, Cocaine Blues and of course they seem uh, quite simple in some respects particularly songs like in C like Candyman Cocaine Blues but in fact uh, he, he has a magical way of producing a wonderful sound and he doesn't seem to be doing much with his hands at all so I wanted to talk today a little bit about that when you take a piece like uh, for example St. Louis Tickle <laughs> magical feel and we, we know that Gary Davis produced and perfected his own distinctive style using one plastic thumb pick and a steel finger pick but in actual fact as far as blues techniques are concerned he could do it all he could uh, roll the thumb basses in this way in quick succession like Blind Blake he could do the single string runs and he could jump his thumb across the strings Listen to the first section of Cincinnati Flow Drag and you'll hear this thumb jump, you'll hear the thumb roll and single string, ring, uh, single string runs as well. You can hear that the, the thumb is, is absolutely essential to, to Gary Davis's style and Cincinnati Flow Drag is a complicated piece and there's a fantastic lesson by Ernie Hawkins that you can, uh, you can find advertised on YouTube. Let's take a look at a piece like Cocaine Blues in C. Gary Davis sets up this wonderful simple alternating bass pattern between the 6th and the 4th string. take a look at the tablature for one verse of Cocking Blues. I hope you enjoy it. Bye bye. 
I'll just freeze myself in time while we take a look at the chords we're going to use. There aren't many chords, it's a simple piece, but these are the variations in C, F and G. You'll notice when I was playing that uh, I have a capo on the first fret, which is my habit, but you'll see the chord shapes without a capo. Also, I'll be demonstrating without finger picks because they make quite a lot of noise and Gary Davis played with a large bodied Gibson guitar and to use finger picks on this small bodied Martin makes it rattle a little bit. So uh, I'll just use bare fingers. Let's take a look at the first section. In the next section we move to the F chord and we start with a pinch and notice there's a pull off on the second string but this pull off is very slow so that when you pull off it coincides with your thumb hitting the F bass note. The rest of this section is quite straightforward. Although with these simple chords the left hand action is pretty evident, I've included a little variation here to make it interesting. Look at the end of the tablature where the thumb lifts off and back on. And here again, because we're having so much fun, I've added another variation to make things a little bit more interesting. Watch out for it, it's right at the beginning. <laughs> 